So we take a small amount of fat from the belly, and those are mesenchymal stem cells. Those cells are then expanded in a petri dish, um, in a culture setting. Once the cells expand out to 100 million cells, they are then injected into um, the patient's lumbar spine, and the cells then migrate to the um, highest area of inflammation, their area of spinal cord injury. So this is a phase one study of stem cells for spinal cord injury, and we need to do further studies to further expand upon this treatment, to make it more effective, and to reach more patients. Now our study was a uh, study of 10 patients with spinal cord injury, and so after the uh, treatment, of uh, the stem cells, which was delivered by a, a lumbar puncture. We then evaluated and assessed the patients to see how were they doing from a safety perspective and how are they doing from a, um, uh, how are they doing from an effectiveness perspective? Are they getting better? And what we found, although there were some, what we would call minor uh, adverse events, things like headache that would resolve two days later, soreness that would resolve two days later, what we found is that um, there was an improvement in um, uh, an improvement for many of the patients. So three of the 10 patients had a significant response um, uh, in terms of improvement in their uh, motor and sensory function. Four of the patients had a moderate response, um, uh, so more minor responses. And then another three of the patients had no response where they didn't get better, but they didn't get worse. And so the question naturally arises, why did three patients have no benefit while four had a modest benefit, while three had a significant benefit. And we don't know the answer to that today. So we're gonna do future trials and future studies in order to better understand that answer. So a complete spinal cord injury is a complete loss of motor function and sensory function below the level of the injury. An incomplete spinal cord injury is where some sensation may remain. You might have some sensation, including uh, rectal tone or other uh, per perianal sensation that would not be there in a complete spinal cord injury. We had several patients that went from, uh, that, that went from a complete spinal cord injury to an incomplete spinal cord injury. I think that shows the promise of stem cells of regenerative medicine. And we do know that these won't be necessarily the sole answer but can they be part of a paradigm of treatment that might include stimulation, stem cells, other types of uh, treatments that together, in conjunction together, can improve outcomes for patients with spinal cord injury. For many years, it's been believed that spinal cord injury is a disease that should not be treated. It's just supportive care. You do a stabilization surgery and physical therapy, and, and that's all, um, and, and that there wouldn't be any adjuncts to that and that, in fact, there's even textbooks from not that long ago that say this is not a condition that you can really make better. I would like us to challenge that, and there's a number of researchers around the world that are challenging that, and, and we're a part of that worldwide matrix of research that's challenging that, and that's calling that into question. Are there other things that we can do, including stem cells, stimulation, other potential treatments? I do think stem cells and regenerative medicine will be a component of the treatment for spinal cord injury. And that's going to change things. You know, we're still in early phase studies, but it's going to make a change. It's gonna make a difference over time. There's many people living with um, uh, significant spinal cord injuries. Here um, at Mayo and, and in my research laboratory, we've been very focused on trying to gain improvements for those patients and trying to gain new treatment paradigms for those patients. My hope is that this publication, this study, this work of research can be another step forward in this pathway to gain better treatments for these patients.